Hey folks, Lonnie back here again, out in the shop, and we're going to make us a tool. Yeah, I've made a couple on my channel, um, but this one is going to be something I've been wanting to make for a long time, so I'm sure it's not all going to be done in this one video, so there'll be a series. I'm going to try to go in depth about measurements and stuff like that. What we're going to make is a 2 by 72 inch belt sander. Uh, a lot of people use them for knife making and stuff like that, but I'm not just going to use it for knife making. Um, I don't I don't really partake seeing myself making knives, but I might try it. But anyhow, I just want to have one here in the shop just for general use. Uh, so, with that being said, let's jump right in. To some plans that I found on the internet um, we're gonna be uh, going based off of those uh, the frame is gonna be constructed of two inch square tubing uh, I say two inch it's probably yeah roughly we're gonna make our own square tubing we're gonna use some cold cut or cold rolled flat stock it's a quarter inch by two inch and a quarter inch by an inch and a half um, for the arms, we're going to use some one and a half inch uh, cold roll squared solid steel. So, we're going to use the flat stock to make our own square tubing. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the front part where you're sanding at. You have a, a wheel that'll be up top and a wheel that'll be on bottom. We're going to make that piece first. What I've got here is a piece of half inch by four inch by 12 and a half inch long i'm going to cut half of an inch off of it so it'll be 12 inches uh, we're going to mark this out where we need our rollers to be this is what you call like a a d plate or something like that uh, we'll get our holes marked out it'll have a center mounting hole here it'll also have another hole here that way you can pivot it and turn it 45 degree or whatever you want to do so let me get you set up on a tripod and we'll get busy. All right, guys, so far, here's what we've got. I've got quite a bit done. This is actually the next day. It's taken me quite a while to do this. I don't have no meal, so it's kind of hard for me to get this little oval right here. Anyhow, here's what we've got done. <clears throat> we've got the plate made, 12 inches long. We've got our holes this is where a bolt will go through and a wheel uh, a guide wheel will go on each end of it this is going to be your backing plate that your belt rests on where you can sand against it i'm going to do something just a little bit different than what i've seen uh so far um this center point right here is going to be where this plate anchors to this is going to be another bolt right here that will allow this to pivot back and forth uh, it'll give you a different degree. What I've done over here on this side, the plan originally calls for this to stay like this, other than just barely rounding over the corners right here. But I'm, I'm, I'm going with half inch. They only used uh, some real thin stuff. So if you can see how I've got this marked out, I'm going to cut this off, cut this off. And I'm also going to grind or cut this piece right here. Let me see. There we go. We're going to cut this chunk right here in the center out. That way I can take this back plate off and I'll have, I won't have to have a brace up against it. I can do some free sanding. Uh, they make different ones like this, but this is the style that I'm going with. So let me get on my bandsaw and I'll get this stuff cut out and I'll get this cut off and we'll round these corners over after I get done and we'll come right back. Okay, folks, here we go. I've got it cut out shaped around this is what they call a D plate and here's your backing that your belt rides up against let me get this put back together and I'll show you what it looks like it basically sits just like this and uh, it bolts on there so like I said let me get this put back together and we'll cover right back All right, folks, there you go, just like that. Next, we're going to cut a piece of this one and a half inch cold, cold roll stock. 
like I said, it's solid, as you can see there. So let me get this cut, and then we're going to drill a hole in it for the mounting of the, uh, the D-plate here. Alright guys, I've been out here plugging away at this. We're going to wrap this video up on this part. I'll spin you right here and show you what I've gotten done and tell you what I did. As you can see, I've got the main part made that comes out. This will have your roller up top, roller down at the bottom. Now what this does, this is where your belt rides up against so you can grind on stuff. If you need to, you can move this away. Then you got a, a slack belt you can work with. You can see I've got half inch bolts through them. That'll be what the rollers go on. Spin you around here. I drilled and tapped quarter inch right here. Drilled and tapped a half inch right here. If at all, anytime you want to adjust it, all you got to do is loosen up that and you can adjust it. That'll give you a little bit of a kick out here to be able to grind on something. Or you can pull it down either way. I'll later on get a piece that will tell me what degree I have it on. And uh, I'll, I'll find out where it is true at uh, dead center after I get it into the uh, machine. The next thing we're going to do is we're probably going to make the, the tool rest. The piece that uh, you work on and then after that we'll start making the frame this is going to slide inside of the frame and the tool rest will also slide inside of the frame so I hope you all like it uh, I'm making this stuff all by hand like I said I don't have no fancy equipment to to notch this right here out no meal I do have a uh, plasma cutter, but I used my bandsaw. It's just a little generic Harbor Freight one and uh, I cut this angle cut this angle Cut this in down here And as you can see I cut the spot where I can make a slack belt adjustment also You can see right there where I've got that tapped all the way through uh, I'll show you what I did to what I used to sand all this stuff and get my edges rounded i've got this kind of a belt sander 25 bucks i've got to figure out how to keep the belt riding true on it but then i also got this big old six by 48 or something like that or 72 uh belt sander but i do not have a belt for it so i was using this one but anyhow that's it for that tonight guys uh if you want to see more of this build give me a like and comment down in the bottom i appreciate every one of you watching my videos if you want i've got a patreon account you can go over there if you want to donate uh help me out a little bit on building stuff like this if not that's cool too um this is what i do for fun uh i'm a poor boy i work for the city so when i can't afford something i try to make it myself Sometimes it turns out all right, sometimes it don't. As you can see, that is why I'm building a poor man's UTV. Can't afford to go buy one, so I'm going to make my own. Anyhow, guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. God bless each and every one of you. Oh, and also, guys, I'll put all the measurements and everything even the link to where I'm getting my measurements, like I said, I seen this on the internet and I figured I'd try to build my own. Uh, I'll put all that down into the video's description.